Oh my god. This thing's so sketchy. Oh god, that did not sound good. Kyle! What? What is this? Has this been posted on your channel yet? This is going out Friday. Well, Kyle, you got There's a boat. thing. The banana boat! Banana boat. I want to get it. I want to get a uh, logo that says S I R F I N N and then Finley. Oh, that'd be kind of funny. Surfing. Surf. Surfing! That, that's pretty funny. Uh, are you ready for today's Take video, Kyle? Huh? What are we doing tonight? We're, we're, we're making... teaching you guys how to unsync a brand new 2023 Can-Am Renegade. Just kidding, that's what I did last night till two o'clock in the morning. And then I woke up at eight and then didn't realize it was daylight savings. So I really got up at seven. <laughs> and then I went and took a three hour nap. So I've done nothing today. Well, now we're gonna go fix Miller's unit of junk. Yeah, no, so Kyle, I, uh, Kyle. Hi Kyle sunk his 23 Renegade. How many hours? 12, 12. 12 hours, nice. Right. Oh wow, it's so clean though. Oh, look at all the pollen. Oh, I'm gonna die. What do you think? Come on. Come on. All right, so we got it in here now. We know it starts, but it won't run. That's our first issue. Kyle said he put some gas in it. He rode it around the other day. And I was like, it wrote it? You actually drove it? And he was like, yeah, it rode around for a couple minutes. So that's promising. But the next step is going to be getting it to idle and run good. That is what we're gonna try to do today. Definitely needs a spark plug. So we're gonna do the spark plug. I didn't grab any oil because I was like, I'm probably not even gonna keep it long enough to even need oil. So we're just gonna try to like spray some starting fluid in it, change the spark plug out maybe adjust that carb a little bit and see where we can get with that. So first things first is we gotta take these plastics back off. I've taken these things off so many times. We'll see what we can do now. We gotta put this tire back on because it popped off somehow. I think when Kyle was trying to bump start it, it came off the bead. So we gotta do that and we should have a good running bike today, hopefully. I know like you guys saw in the last video, the two front wheel bearings in the front are shot. The back hub bearing in the rear is shot things a pile but you guys love this content so what I think I'm gonna do since you guys have blew up those last two videos I'm gonna sell this thing I'm gonna get it running first we're gonna have rip it for like a quick minute for a quick maybe one to two to three videos and then we're gonna sell it and get a maybe a 450 we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see what kind of deal I can find for you guys but got to do the race quad stuff nobody's really doing the race quad stuff so that's what we're working on today so let's see if we can get this thing running and ripping We got the bike all taken apart. Kyle is working on his four-wheeler. Well, we're just four-wheeler buddies now. I guess I'm a four-wheeler guy now. Quad guy. Uh, okay. I'm just like, uh, I feel like Ryan right now, you know, always on the always on the quad. Big, big quad guy. Yeah, so we got to take the spark plug out. I got the brand new one. Man, that just looks so good on top of this motor. It's got Pro Works head work, baby. Look at that. We'll uh, tighten some bolts today. All right, let's get the spark plug changed out. Got this. All right, let's see if I got the right spark plug or not. All right, well, I'd say, I mean, that spark plug is not looking good. <laughs> it's not, I, I've seen worse, not good. But it's not good. That could cause an issue. So, perfect match, Kyle. Look at me doing something right for once. Shocked. Shocked, did you say shocked? <laughs> 
All right, let's pop this new one in. Now, probably should have tested to see if it had spark before we put that in, but it's okay. <laughs> Honestly, if we can't get this to run, we don't go ride 250s around, we could at least take the side by sides to go drift around the cul-de-sac down there. Because it is raining outside. You gotta have a little fun in the rain. Function power sports. At the garage, everybody uses the pool table the Yep. Guilty. <laughs> I don't want you guys to. Yep. Alright, here we go. Oh, did we forget? Man, this thing's just a pile. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Nope. Come on, you turd! Whoa, clutch is very stick. Yeah, baby! God, this clutch sucks so bad. Play with your, you can play with the choke a little bit. I don't know if they'll run on that one. Dang. Oh! Yeah, baby! Uh, it doesn't want to run off. All the way up is choke on, all the way down is choke off. I know it won't run with all the way choke off. It's time just to get a 450. I don't even want to mess with the old 400s, guys. I think it might be time for like a... Gosh, imagine a black and red 450. Would look so good. I wish Can-Am made a decent freaking quad. <sighs> like a race quad. <laughs> they have good quads. Hey. Yeah! Oh, pfft. Might help. Oh my god, this thing's so sketchy. Oh my god, this thing rides like a pile of sh Did you guys see that? The whole front is just like... <laughs> no way that just happened. <laughs> oh, we're ripping, baby. Oh my god. No! I got fourth gear and the front end is just like. <laughs> a flat tire, too. A flat tire, no uh, wheel bearings in the front at all. And the handlebars are not tight at all either. I can't believe it started though. Oh, dude, it's a race bike. Woo! Yeah, baby. Race quad certified. Why is my car running right now? This thing rims kind of though. Front end. Why does it only run for like 15 seconds? <laughs> Why is this so funny? It just dies in 15 seconds and then it's fine again. It's out of fuel so it's not filling up the float and then it finally fills up the bowl and then it just burns off whatever's in the bowl for 10 seconds. Why doesn't it keep filling up though? I need the carb rebuild. You're probably right. Bro, I don't need it bro, it's a ripper. It's idling. Sounds pretty good. My tire is also off the bead. <laughs> We're already doing wheelies on this thing. <laughs> oh. 
Oh god, that did not sound good. It sounds good. It doesn't sound great though. No. It doesn't look great either. <laughs> it does. Dude, when I go up all the way, it comes back down and the tires are like at my knees. <laughs> Dude, give it a rip. It's idling now. It sounds pretty good. Oh God. Nah. Okay, Kyle. On the tire. Ah, oh, I died on him. <laughs> Dang, this thing got dirty just for riding around the yard. Hi, Timmy. What happened? All right. Oh, it broke my bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, where do you want to go with that? With this? Yeah. Back to the shed? <laughs> where I got it from? So Kyle said he knows a guy that could work on this thing for pretty cheap. And I kind of do want to like just keep it for content. Just to get a few a few rides out of it, you know? And if I could spend two, three hundred bucks on getting this thing like running no issues from a guy who knows his stuff. I mean honestly, would not be a bad idea. I'm gonna give him a ring today, just to see. But man, this thing was fun to ride. I'm definitely gonna have a four-wheeler, that's for sure. Oh, I missed this. You guys didn't know, but I actually grew up riding four-wheelers. Oh my gosh. I used to have a Bear Tracker 250, and man, I rode that thing every single day for like years and years. Hey. What's up? Have you watched my last video? No. No. I know what you're gonna don't roost me. Don't roost me. No. I'm jumping off. No. Heads. Sweet. I thought about tails, but Kyle's the type of guy to think tails. Oh god, I have still have a bad feeling about this. Kyle has the keys to a very high horsepower machine right now. Alright, I'm gonna give your guy a call uh, whenever I whenever we end off this video. Yeah, honestly, it's gonna need it wherever we take it next. Well, semi successful, I'd say. I mean, it's dark. You didn't get any further than you were in the last video. <laughs> You're dang right. You gotta get your donuts in the street. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely gonna take this thing down the road. It's so nice to have something that actually freaking works perfect every single time you get on it. So nice. But like I was saying, yes, I grew up riding four wheelers. I had a bear tracker, sunk that thing, sold it, bought an LTR, LTZ 400, the uh, Kawasaki. L I want to say it's a, might be a KX 400. Maybe, I don't know. But I had one of those, it was junk. I sold that, eventually went and bought a motorcycle, bought a Grom, and I haven't had a four-wheeler since. This is my first four-wheeler since then. And I actually almost bought, almost bought a lifted Rancher a few months ago. It was a really good deal, came across, but it got snuck out from under me, so nothing ever happened with that. But I was almost had a nice Honda snorkel four-wheeler. And uh, that would have been a lot of fun for the deal it was. Yeah, what my plan is, is to sell this 250, 300, whatever it is, sketchy Craigslist buy, and uh, save up a little bit more money and either get a 400 or a 450. I'm leaning towards a 450, I've always wanted one, and I think a 450 with some nice new tires on it, on any of the trails around us, nobody rides these 450s, nobody rides race quads around us, and so, I think you guys would absolutely love the freaking content because it would be so much fun to take it out to Braden's Land, Carolina Adventure World, let go and ride with you guys and just see how much fun we can get into, even taking them to the tracks and uh, jumping them and stuff like that it would be so much fun. Trying new things, riding the street, doing wheelies, you guys know the whole deal. I love watching C-Boys when they do their quad stuff and it just has really made me want to get back into it myself. So, you guys love the videos too, so maybe we can do some fun stuff on it. Definitely going to do some more urban stuff on the side-by-side -side here soon. 
Car stuff, you guys killed that video. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Y'all interested in my car videos makes me really, really happy. And uh, I can't wait to make more content about that. Oh yeah, baby. Man, this thing's so muddy already. Looks like I need a new pair of shoes. If I get a four-wheeler that rips as hard as that thing does, I'm gonna be a happy person. Well guys, it is starting to rain. Again, pretty heavy outside here, so I'm gonna go ahead and end off today's video. We got the first ride out of the way, and I've gone ahead and contacted the guy about getting it totally gone through, see what it needs exactly, and uh, he said he's actually working on a 450 that a guy might want to sell right now. So I'm not, when I take that thing over there, I'll bring you guys along and we'll check out that 450. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've had a blast making it. I'm really shocked. We got a little bit farther with it this time. So leave a like, leave a comment. You guys have been blowing up the four other videos lately. We have a lot of good stuff coming for the ST, for the side-by-side, -side, for the truck, for the go-kart. We, we need to bring that thing back out again. And the pit bike is about to get totally redone. So I hope you guys are ready for that too. So you guys would stay tuned for the next video go give kyla a follow for helping me out today and i'll see you guys next time